Good everyone. My name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see a figure. And the question that accompanies this figure says three views of a bearing are shown in the figure below. Make an isometric drawing of the bearing. Corner A should be the lowest point on your drawing. No hidden details required. So what you should do is that you, since this is an isometric, you draw your isometric axis like your vertical axis right and the horizontal axis and also the other one too both of them are inclined at what at 30 degree to the horizontal with the help of what your t square now the height is given, you can get the height from either the end view or from the elevation. Now this figure you see at the right hand side is in first angle projection because this is the, uh, the front elevation, this is the plan and this is what the end view. So you can get the, the height from either the end view or from the front elevation. So if I should take the height, the height here is given as what? As 50. So I'm going to measure 50 from 0 to 5 is 50. Right? And um, if I should take the length, since it is facing this side, so my A is at this point here. My A should be the lowest point. So meaning that my A here to this point is gotten from the end view, since we are not getting it from the plan. The width, since it's not in the plan, you can get the width also from what? From the end elevation, and that is 62. So, I will get it from here to 62. Because from here to here is equal to from here to here. Now, the length here is given from here to here, and it's not shown here. But we are given from this point to the center to be 62. Meaning that from this center to the other end is also what 62 because it is vertically symmetrical. So 62 plus 62 that will give us what? 100 and what? 24. So I'm going to measure 124 from this point here. From 0 to 124. So this is what we have. Alright. And I'll now use my instrument and I'm going to project this point upward this way. I'll come here to project this point upward this way. Then I'm going to close it up this way. And I'm going to close it up to this way. I'll move here to here. And I'll close here up to this way. Can you see what we brought out? Now let's start. Now I want to get my point 12. My lowest point A, right? A should be at around this point. This is the lowest point of the diagram. So from here to point A, which is from here to here. And same thing as saying from here to here, and that's giving us what 12. So I'm going to measure my 12 at this point from 0 to what to 12. Can you see that? I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing too from 0 to 12. Why? Because the figure is symmetrical. If I split it into two, what I'll see at this side will be since I see at this side. So, whatever I'm doing here, I should be doing it in the other side here. So once I have done that, see what I'm about to do, then I am going to project it upward. I'll project it upward this way. And I'll come here too, I'll project it upward to this way. 
coincidence. Now the thickness here, you can see the thickness here from here to here is given to be what nine. So I'm going to measure nine also coming down at this point here. I'm focusing on the elevation. So from here to here is nine. Can you see that? Then I am going to close it up from this point. I like I can see it taking it here and also here. Can you see that? And I can also bring it down to from here. And I'll close here to here. And I'll close here to here. You can see that. Then I will close the base too here. Can you see that? And similarly, this hidden line is telling me that what this line is going through here. So first of all, we use um, the faint line this way. Can you see that? From here to come straight down here. And from here too, to come straight down here. I will be pointing here too. From here to here. See that again? Now aside that, look at what is happening. There is a web here. This inclined line you see, there is something here touching this part. So what will I do? I am going to get the center of that figure. If this is a 2, the center is what? 31. So if I measure 31 from the base here, from here, let me start from here, from 0 to 31, that is the center of that figure. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing here too. From 0 to 31, yeah, there's also the center there. Now what I will do is, I can easily join from here to here hope you are getting the logic you can easily this is the center so just use a faint line and join it this way first then what do you notice you since the thickness of that you see is given to be 12 from here because from here to here since they are saying from here to here so it is 12 right looking at it from the side so we'll measure 6 to the left and also 6 to the right. So let's do that. So if I should come there, I'm going to measure from here. 6 to here. And 6 to here. I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing too. From 0, 6 to here. And also 6 to here. So if I should do that, see what is happening. This one here will go up and also from this point too is hidden. So I'll just join from this point to touch here. I'll come from here to join from this point to touch here. Then I'll bring here down. Then I'll close it up. Let's go and do that. Let me just show you the end here. So we'll close it up from this point to down to here. And from this point to down upward. And here too, the ticking ring. So doing that here to not be obvious here because here we blocked. So let's move forward. Now the next one here we have is I will now measure from here, I'll measure 37. Right? So let's measure 37 and see. Well before I do that, let's first of all take it to the center 62 from zero here. I'm going to measure 62 here. That's the center of the figure. So once I do that, I'll draw a line this way and I'll also draw a line in both sides this way. 
Okay, if you come here too. So the radius here is given to be, it is not shown how we get the radius, it's as simple as this. So if you remove 37 from 62, what will remain in 25? So the remaining part here is what 25. So that is the radius there. So I'm going to take half of 25, I mean 25, from 0 to 25. Can you see that? And I'll place it here. I will mark down, mark left, mark right, and mark top. Can you see that? That is. So I'm going to now join the vertical line. Here also, vertical line. I'll close it up. Here also, I'll close it up. Close it up too. Can you see that? So the same thing that I'm going to do here. Since I measure 25 in all direction, that is from here to here 25. I'll come here. 25. 25, 25, and what 25. Hope you can see that. So, we will now draw our line across that point. This. This. This, this, so this is what we have there. So, if I've done that, we need a semi circle here and also a semi circle. Well, I see semi elliptical shape here. So, look at what I'll do. I will do this simultaneously. I'll join from here to here. Also join from here to here. Can you see that? And also take from this point to this point. Also take from this point to this point. No. Also come from here to here. And also come from here to here. So this is where they are meeting. So I'll draw my shape out. So if I place my compass at this end here, I'll take it here, then I'll draw my semicircle. One part first. Then I'll come here. I'll do the same thing here too. I'll come here too. I'll do the same thing. Yeah. Then I'll come here. I'll close it up. Yet. So let me take that out. So this line here, you see the plan, it's telling me that here is connected to this side. So I'm going to connect it to that side. And here too is connected to this side. Can you see that? So now what will I do? I'm going to take in this side to not come out here because they said no hidden details. So let me take in it. Can you see that? Then I'm going to start to take in the rest part from here straight down to touch here. To touch here. Touch here. Touch here. And also this line here. 
So this is what we have. The hidden line here is telling me that we're looking at it from here, you can't see this figure in between, so there'll be the hidden line. So this is what we have. So if you have found this video helpful, please this is our point A here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.